Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Um, so I'm picking up on a Queen of, Queen of Wands, reverse, they're still out here trying to steal from someone. Um, this could be like a woman that's in some type of industry and she thinks that she's supposed to be the queen of that industry or something but doesn't really know what it is she's doing. Um, there's something like people do in the business world where it's that you, you should act like you know what you're doing. If you act like you know what you're doing, then people are going to believe you know what you're doing. This is something this woman has been doing her whole life in this industry. Uh, because she doesn't know what she's doing, she's intimidated by people that do know what they're doing. So there's something where it's like um, she goes ahead of people and tries to destroy their careers before they even get into this specific industry. This could have to do with like spirituality or it has something to do with spirituality or just creativity, something of that nature. Um, but this is a Queen of Wands reverse. Um, it's been doing this for a long time and she may have gotten a group of people together to help her stop someone and i've been picking up on this woman for a long time so what i'm going to do today is look into her energy specifically this is someone that has gathered a group of friends to make sure that someone does not get what it is that's there so basically it's like you're working and this is something that's like a platform thing i don't know if someone has that contact um when it comes to platforms or she has some type of hacker that she's paying to do something behind the scenes. So it's like if your platform is growing, then she has a hacker that she's paying or she has someone that she's begging to help her block your platform or stop it from growing. It's something is supposed to be going viral. There's something where it's like they're analyzing someone or a few creators or platforms when something is supposed to take off they are doing something to block it from taking off um and this is because this woman has been stealing from people um these specific content creators that she's coming after she's been taking from them and so if you end up being like going if you end up going viral and well known it makes her look like a hypocrite because she's been out here pretending to know what it is she's doing for a long time but she doesn't know what she's doing um okay um, also, we have a King of Cups out here that may not be receiving something he thought he was going to be receiving. Um, this is someone that is very malicious, very, uh, just, I don't know even how to describe this man. Someone is very malicious, very wicked, very uh, void of human emotions. This is someone that anything he does, any type of interaction he has with you, there's some type of ulterior motive to it. So this is not someone that's very genuine at all. Uh, no type of interaction you have with this person is coming from a place of compassion or any type of genuine, genuine, uh, uh, I don't even know what the word is to use, but someone is not genuine. Like someone manipulates, someone is emotionally unavailable. Uh, he may be pissed off out here because he's not receiving something. He's not getting something. There could be a group of people or a community that are celebrating the fact that this man is not getting something and instead a queen of pentacles um is being set free to get what it is that belongs to them this has been some type of one-sided battle for a long time a king of cups may have stolen something from someone and maybe you didn't know that they stole this particular thing from you or maybe they stole your opportunity as far as maybe you receiving a promotion at work or you going viral or something like that there is just something where is that a group of people have been blocking someone's um chances of succeeding um and this is because one of your knowledge um there's some type of mind game mental game that these people are playing where is that you know what you're doing but they're telling someone or an institution behind the scenes that you don't know what you're doing and maybe you don't deserve an opportunity or a contract or something of that nature so it's some type of mind play word play that they're doing and this person has been doing a lot of manipulation behind the scenes as well i've been picking up on a kink of Cups reverse, a queen of pentacles reverse, a queen of swords reverse, queen of wands reverse. Just, I can't. It's just too many of these people. And then there's an emperor out here who's a brute as well. Like the king of swords kind of energy has been manipulating for him most of his life and something is catching up to him. So let's just go ahead and look into all of these different energies because honey, I'm, I guess this is my job to look into the karmics. <laughs> let's go ahead and look into them. 
Um, but this has something to do with uh, more than likely something not going to the wrong person because there's someone out here that's been de very determined to have something that does not belong to them. Someone does not want you being fulfilled in life. Not only is someone in competition with you to be you, someone has some type of vengeful vendetta against you where it's like they just don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you content. They don't want to see you fulfilled. Uh, and people may be celebrating the fact that um, you have been able to overcome this person, whoever this can of cups uh, king of cups is um you've been able to overcome him um this could be also two different king of cups that i've been picking up on that one is very karmic just a lost cause someone operates from their ego and then you have another one that is on the right path this is someone very upstanding doing the right thing in life may see you as a queen of pentacles maybe it's wanting to work with you as well um so maybe they're coming towards you to give you some type of offer of work or something of that nature this is someone you more than likely wouldn't even expect to be this established in life when you meet him or her um but someone may want to work with you they may be heartbroken that they partner up partner up with the wrong person in the past or maybe they didn't give didn't give you an opportunity in the past as well um someone may be in the public eye maybe you don't know who this person is but they are aware of you they are going to be sending you some type of communication there are a group of people who are very much disappointed at the fact that this person is coming towards you wants to work with you sees you as a partner in business or something that could even see you as a wife a possible wife um partner in the future um so but right now what it's going to start off as is as a friendship okay um i don't really understand why all of these people are so like gun ho on stopping someone from having a fulfilling life if he wants to be happy he deserves to be happy everybody's entitled to being happy um i don't know if there's like a woman trying to hold on to him manipulating him He's freeing himself from this situation. I don't, like, these people, energy, you all have just been so, like, draining. I'm just so over it. <laughs> I'm just so over it. There may be something coming to you that you're not aware of. Maybe this is some type of uh, contract, some type of promotion, some type of abundance. I said promotion, split the deck, and it came out to this. Now, this could be a promotion that has to do maybe with your elevation, your ascension, your healing. Uh, maybe an institution wants to give to you. Maybe someone wants to give to you financially. I don't know what it is. It's going to be different for all of you. But you as the star seed, you're going to be receiving some type of promotion. We'll be receiving some type of good news that's going to lead to a lot of different opportunities for you in life a lot of different options as well when it comes to like your stream of incomes networking opportunity business opportunities and things like that um you're going to be meeting with this person in divine timing this could be someone that has a lot of emotions for you this is a union that's destined by the by the most high um someone could be a king of wands as well and sees you as a king as a queen of cups has a lot of emotions for you someone is choosing to listen to their intuition now um and is choosing to do the right thing or to stand up for this union that the both of you have uh so this is not a union that has come together yet but it will be coming together you two will be sailing into the sunset together maybe meeting in divine timing to have some type of closure and clarity so that you can have this new beginning some type of atonement reconciliation is going to be taking place um and there will be some type of collaboration between the two of you someone is going through some type of healing at the moment this could be the king of cups or the king of wands it could be the same person the same masculine that's taking on all of these different energies or this king of wands or king of cups could be friends with the other masculine uh take it as it fits um maybe these two have been friends for a long time maybe one has been causing a lot of manipulation to the other person so that they don't move on with their life don't come towards you to give them an offer there may be people in this community around this masculine that feels that maybe you're not up to part when it comes to his social uh stand i don't know social class or whatever they said you know how those teacup people be up there they feel like uh the issue is you just it should just be them and nobody else you don't look like them so you can't be part of the club and it's not like you're even asking to be part of the club because i don't even see you on this board i see you like somebody else minding your business but there's something where it is that people don't want a masculine coming towards you. They want you to stay alone, miserable, or something like that. I don't think you're miserable in life, but I think what it is is that these people want you to be alone, single, rejected. No one helping you, no one working with you, no love, just out here like a homeless and looking just like a hobo out here, basically. Okay?
Because apparently that's that's how mature people and insecure people behave. They come out here when you're mature. You come out here and you destroy other people's other people's lives, other people's opportunities. Now with this Queen of Wands reverse, I picked up on in a specific industry. <laughs> There's something about business that a lot of people that are not exactly business savvy don't understand, and it's so simple. Like, it's so simple, but a lot of people that are not really business-minded always miss it because they think that they are in uh, some type of competition with everybody, but it's a negative kind of competition. Uh, the it, Competition in business is supposed to be healthy. It is necessary, right, um, for companies to thrive um, because uh, at the end of the day, customers need options. They want options. So... Uh, it's very rare not to find like, a company that has a monopoly. Even McDonald's does not have a monopoly anymore. I mean, you have Jack in the Box. You have uh, Wendy's, Rally's, all kinds of these burger places. So when McDonald's started, it was a monopoly, but it's no longer. Even Walmart, in some way, Walmart is partially a monopoly, but not really. Uh, I mean, they sell everything in one place, but you have other stores as well that can sell other things in one place now what what walmart does to have some type of advantage over the communities that they are in is that they will reduce the prices of certain of their products um so then customers are kind of flocking to walmart to buy um because the things that they're selling are so cheap right and then the other businesses that are in that same neighborhood uh, are kind of taken out of business because they can't compete with Walmart prices. So those businesses end up shutting down and moving away or, or moving away, excuse me. Once they are kind of out of the loop, out of the competition, basically, then Walmart raises the prices and then customers don't really have a choice but to go to Walmart. So in that sense, Walmart has figured out a crafty way to be a monopoly. <laughs> I tell you, that's one heck of a way. Um, but this Queen of Wands, there's something where it's that you have made some type of mistake because you're not exactly business savvy. What you did wrong, one, you were in an industry before someone else or a group of other people that you are trying to team, uh, uh, kind of uh, high, keep hitting, re, uh, restrict, and things like that. And the audacity of you, you should be ashamed and embarrassed of yourself to be taken from the mouths of other people. They have put in a lot of work to get to where they are. You're taking from not just these creators, but their families, their children. You're very selfish uh, and very immature from what I'm picking up on you. What you should have done, if you're as business savvy and clever as you've been putting yourself out to be, since you already had an advantage in the industry, when you when you will have seen other creators coming up that you knew knew their craft and things like that, what you should have done is reached out to them to form some type of alliance with them. That's money, girl. That's money. You don't miss out on a whole lot of money because you're out here being insecure. You got to learn how to put your... Girl, money talk BS walk when it comes in business. You never heard of that? You got to separate your emotions and your business. If you want to have a successful business, be have longevity, you should know what direction you want your business to go in, um, who you want to partner up with, who can help you make more money because at the end of the day, it really is money. You know, we all do things because we love it. I love doing this, but I'm glad that I get paid for doing it by YouTube. Um... But what you should have done was partner up with these people that you're trying to destroy. Now that you took the different route because you went on a route of destruction, one, you're about to lose everything you already had and you're going to be out here left in the cold without these connections that you had in this business world, right? So you kind of did yourself a kind of a look, you, you put yourself at a disadvantage because you're so insecure and you think you're in competition with literally everybody and it's not a healthy kind of competition. You did yourself an injustice so you don't really have anyone to blame. Um, if you ever have to have the chance after you go through what it is you're about to go through, make sure when you come up again and you see someone that's doing good or they have something to offer to your business, reach out to them, form a, some type of alliance with them, tell them you want to work with them, especially if this is like spirituality and you see someone that's gifted, maybe that's money for you. What are you doing? That's money for you. Okay. 
This can be someone you hire to come work in your company, help you do some type of divination, whatever it is they do, uh, give you some type of knowledge that you need instead of stealing from them. You're stealing from these people. You don't have the knowledge that they have. So you got to be out here reading over and over and over to memorize what it is you're reading and what you're reading don't even resonate with you. Whereas the people that naturally have that knowledge, it just comes naturally for them. So if you would have just partnered up with them, baby girl, your money would have been looking good, good out here. Now you don't get yourself an injustice. Got nobody to blame. You're out here trying to hold on. I don't know who you're trying to hold on to. Hold on to some type of contract that is void. It's not going to be... a. Uh, um, what is it? What is the word? What is the word? <sighs> it's not going to be renewed. Excuse me. I need to go eat dinner. <laughs> the contract is not going to be renewed. I think there's a man that's not willing to work with you. More than likely, it's ending his contract with you. Um, if this was like something where you two were together um, in love and business, you've, you've really done yourself a number. This is one of the situations where you think you are... Uh, you are destroying the other party, not knowing little by little, slowly, every day. You're undoing yourself. You're destroying yourself. And by the time you realize that you've been destroying yourself, it's too late. And I think this is the predicament that you are in. You're not going to be able to work with whoever you've been trying to destroy. Because you've been doing this to quite a few people. And when they find out you've been out here playing with their platforms and their numbers, girl, they don't want to work with you. They don't care who you are. You could be Bill Gates or Oprah Winfrey. They don't want to work with you. You think you, you think because you say you're Oprah. I'm just using that as an example. Just because you reach out to them and say you're Oprah Winfrey now and you want to give them an offer after you destroy their platform. You really think they give two Fs about your name? No, they don't. You, you got to think strategically. Chess. Learn how to play chess. Business is always chess. Okay? Always chess. And you're not playing chess to destroy the other party. It's always, what can I do to make more money, right? My net in increase, my net income, all of that. Not to be out here trying to destroy people. And that's the illusion that a lot of corrupt businesses are under. When they see another, another business doing good, all of a sudden they want to put that business out of operation, right? Um, instead of trying to partner up with them so they can both make money. I don't understand it. I really don't. Like now you got to move on. Go heal. Try to manifest something else for yourself after you heal. Because it's hard to manifest anything for yourself when you're in the kind of energy that you are in. I'm telling you. You should have network. You should have network with who you were trying to destroy. Because this is someone in the upright. A true healer. A true star seed. Someone with a lot of creativity. Lots of, this is... These are people where it's like the creativity is on overload. Overload. You know how they say cuteness overload when we see those adorable little toddlers? Cuteness overload. It's creativity overload. So you don't miss, you missed out on the jackpot thinking the whole time you were blocking them. No, 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 no. You were blocking yourself. Now you're out here trying to block someone of honor or wealthy person, business mogul, from making an offer or balance. Girl, what is wrong with you? Did, did you take business? <sighs> did you or did you not take business classes? Because from what I'm hearing, you, yeah, you're a queen of wands, girl. What is wrong with you? Like, beauty can't get you everything. Being fiery ain't gonna get you everything. <clears throat> you gotta be strategic in the right way. You're about to go through some type of death. So you can come out a little bit more balanced. But to go through some type of rebirth, a tower. Why are you out here trying to steal from people? What's wrong with you? And the whole time you're under some type of illusion that you are taking other people down, not knowing eventually it's going to catch up to you. And that's how the universe has it set up. They'll let you do something for a long time, giving you time and time and time again to redirect yourself and you, for some reason, you just refuse to. You refuse to go within. So that's why the universe is taking action. And now look at you. This is your future. Whoever this uh, other person is that's been trying to keep someone stuck, this is their future. It, listen, I don't know what the heck is wrong with you people. You got to get out of your ego when it comes to your pockets. Some of you are out here, you think 
uh, crushing other people so you can make sure you're okay is how things are going to be or how things are supposed to be. You, you're never going to be fulfilled in life that way. You're never going to hold on to anything for a long time that way. You can be as corrupt as you want and you can get as successful as you want from being corrupt, but eventually it's going to catch up to you. And sometimes what the, because the universe has a weaker sense of humor like myself here. Sometimes what they'll do is let you get rich, let you get real comfortable in a lifestyle where you're living happily, have friends of high honor, friends in high places and things like that, and then you get ill and your money can't heal you, can't cure you, your friends can't cure you, your networks can't cure you, and you're just alone and miserable, suffering from pain and all kinds of stuff because that's a karma. Your money, you put money above everything else. So the universe is teaching you your money is worthless when it comes to us. You see how things work? Girl, listen, the universe is all over this. If you were messing with a king of wands, trying to keep him trapped in some type of situation, because I picked up on a community that's trying to block a king of wands from moving on with his life to give a commitment to someone he's watching. Baby, that man in front of the... <laughs> listen, that man don't achieve balance, attunement. Like, he's out here a whole angel. Okay? Baby, there is nothing you all can say or do to stop this man. This man knows who he is now. The, the universe is taking care of everything. And if, there, if there's someone pretending to be healed, the universe is taking care of it as well. Could be a... a, 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 a I'm not even going to say that. I'm not going to say it. not going to say it. But it'll be balanced out. Okay? Like, the truth is out. Uh, a high priestess is free to go, okay? Someone is listening to their intuition. Their intuition is not blocked anymore. I think you all have been out here doing some type of ritual to have someone's intuition blocked, uh, to block their downloads, have some type of control of their mental. Baby, you can't even control your mental. How are you going to control someone else's mental? What is wrong with what kind of magic are you all doing out here? Because it's sounding, and excuse my French, it's sounding a lot like stupid. What are you doing? Who told you you have authority to block other people's minds? Did it work? All you, The most you can ever get out of this is some type of confusion. You may cause the person a little bit of confusion for a little while, but maybe they'll bounce right back. Look at her, him. Bounce right back to manifesting something new. A whole ten of pentacles. What is wrong with you people? Why Why do you have this much time and money to waste? Some of you have binded yourself to situations that you can't get out of. You stand to lose everything. You're living in fear, anxiety, because destiny is playing out. What have I told you all on this channel here? Destiny is called destiny for a reason. There is nothing you can do to change destiny. You can try as hard as you want to hold on to something that does not belong to you, to try to keep someone that does not belong to you. Maybe when the most high is ready to separate you from that thing, person, or place, they're going to do it with no difficulty. You're under some type of illusion. Baby, you are under some type of illusion. The only person you have control over, ma'am, sir, it's you and you alone. You yourself and you is all you got. Okay? I don't know what your name is. I'm going to call you Melissa. I'm going to call you Billy. You yourself and Billy are all you've got. You yourself and Melissa are all you've got to control. Nobody else. You got to go learn to heal, balance life out for yourself. Your emotions go within and things of that nature. You're out here trying to prove that you are a high priestess and you don't even carry yourself as a high priestess because high priestesses don't, be don't behave this way. They don't get out here trying to block other people. They're those are low vibrational energies that do things like that. Insecure people. People that think they're in competition with other people and that would be you, madam. Um, you're out here... Feeling that you got to prove that you know everything. Nobody knows everything. Even me here. I'm as... I'm, baby, I'm a powerhouse, but I don't know everything. As a matter of fact, when you meet me, you may think I'm a little bit on the retorted side. But I promise you, I'm not. <laughs> I just have a way of doing things, that's all. But nobody knows everything. And when you go around pretending like you know everything, it makes you look stupid. I read this article once, and it said the smartest people in the world know knows how to say, I don't know. 
And that's something in the business world people don't understand. They're quick to pretend or lie that they know something when they don't know something. You look more dumb when you try to act like you know something and or know everything when you're dumb. Just say, I don't know. What are you afraid of? Embarrassment? Who are you so, like, focus on? Or who, why do you care about other people's opinion of you so much? That if you say you don't know, they look at you like you're crazy. That is the end of the world. Nine out of ten times, they don't know either. They're just pretending to know. I worked at a company like that before. They used to act like they knew everything. And they would look at me like I was crazy because, or I was uh, dumb because I said I didn't know. What you want me to do, pretend with you? I don't know, I don't know. You're either going to teach me what I need to know or you're not going to teach me. And I'll find out eventually what I need to know. Because one thing about me, if I come across a situation today and I don't know it, you best believe the next time you encounter me, I'm going to know it because guess what? That's all That's all I needed. <laughs> that, that one chance right there. <laughs> that's all. That's an opportunity for me to go, hey, I need to learn this real quick. I don't got time to be out here looking dumb and stuff, but that's okay. Looking dumb would be the second time you don't you, you didn't make no effort. That situation come up again. And you didn't do nothing to learn it. I don't know why people have something against I don't know. You don't know. Why lie? Why pretend? Maybe I'll be quick to tell you I don't know. If it bothers you, that's your business. I remember I had a supervisor and a manager before. He told her <laughs> that I was do. I, I used to work as a, a healthcare worker, um, a home health aide, and I was taking care of this woman. She had some type of problem going on, and. Um, I'm someone that thinks outside of the box. I'm very like, <laughs> I do things that people don't even, <laughs> I do things my own way. Let's just put it that way. She was having some type of issue and I came up with a creative way uh, to take care of the issue. Um, and it, it, it took care of the issue. She was fine. So I went ahead and told the manager what had happened. And he said, well, how did you do that? So I told him how I, I told him what I did. And the, um, well, he was the owner of the company. The manager steps in and she's trying to ask me how it happened, but she's too afraid to ask me. Later on, she and I catch up and she's telling me, I wanted to ask you how it is you do this, but he said, if I ask you, I want to look stupid. What? <laughs> Baby, we're all humans. Nobody knows everything. I'm telling you, even the Ascendant Masters, there are things that we don't know. We still got to figure it out. Okay, we might be we are experts in certain things and other things. Listen, like an ascendant master, we're not experts in math, we're not experts in uh PE, <laughs> physical education. I mean, we know about all these different topics, but we have things that we're experts in, just like everybody else. Like, you can't a doctor can't teach you how to be a English teacher, right? Okay, girl, you effed up, you, you, you hurt your bag, you were trying to get the bag in the wrong way. Out here competing with you you're trying to get the bag, but you're out here competing with the bag. What's wrong with you? Girl, what kind of mindset is that? What? What? Melissa, what? Girl, what you what, where did you do that at? Where you do that at? How you do that there, Melissa? What's wrong with you, girl? What's wrong with you? Out here hurting the bag, talking about you trying to get the bag. That ain't how you get the bag. You get the bag by forming partnerships with the right people, genuine partnerships, okay, that are long-lasting. Uh, this friend group, community, baby, there's some type of turnaround that has happened in a community. They must be very happy that something is not going to a disingenuous king of cups. Oh, baby, this man here, these people say, oh, thank you. <laughs> Relief. These people want to give to a woman of high honor or a man of high honor. Someone humble, down to earth, understands what it is to be the average person every day, the average Joe. This man is going through some type of karma. There are two different King of Cups I'm picking up on here, but I want to focus on the one that is being celebrated as get out. <laughs> what did you do, sir? You've been put to rest. You've been put to rest. He's been out here trying to block two people from coming together, working together. I don't know, being in love. Someone is again in love or something. I don't know what this is, but he'll figure it out eventually. He'll figure it out. Whoever you're supposed to be with collected as far as work, I don't know if it's marriage. <laughs> it's coming together. It's coming together. It's coming together. These people are unhappy. Why? 
because someone wants to be with you, wants to work with you, and it's a solid commitment to, oh. So are they happy that something is not going to one king of cups, but they're unhappy as well that a king of cups is coming to you to give you a commitment? Listen, what, what <laughs> why do you all care? That's what I want to know. Why do you all care that this king of cups wants to be with who he wants to be with? I don't, I, I don't understand. Make you tell me what is going on. I don't know. I don't understand. Explain it. Explain to yourself. What in the world is going on? Make you tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. I don't even know what to say. Why do you all care what be, who, who someone is with? Huh? You don't even have an answer. Because it's something that's coming from a place of spitefulness, insecurities. And you're not going to come out and say, because I feel insecure, that's why I don't want them together. You're not going to say that. You don't even have a reason for why you don't want these two people to come together. It may have something to do with money that still don't justify it. You don't have a reason. It's jealousy. It's animosity. It's insecurities. You say, why do they get to have love? Why her? That's what I keep hearing someone saying. Why her? They're asking, why her? Why is he giving an offer to her? Why does she get to be happy? Why does she get to have this? Why does she get to have this? Baby, worry about yourself. That's the that's the mistake people be making. Worried about yourself. If you do the work, baby, I'm pro I promise you, sister. I promise you. If you do the work, focus on yourself. Oh, you're going to have everything here and then some. You, you ever thought of that? Oh, baby, they're living in fear. Just fighting, trying to stop a king of wands from taking action. Sir, you better take action. Oh, yeah, because he's putting the end. Mm, yeah, he's putting the end. This man's putting the end to everything. Dang. He knows the truth. And he's putting an end to his collaboration, his relationship with these people. It's over. These people are trying really hard to keep something going. And I don't know why they're this invested. Possibly because there's a, I heard money on the line. A lot of money on the line. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what to tell you all. I know you all are working very hard to hold on to something, keep something. You may want to let go. You got issues coming in that you won't even be able to face because of what you've been trying to do what you have been doing okay mm. something is being looked into there could be a king of cups in the upright that's choosing to look into something there's some type of investigation going on i don't know what the heck this is you all have your hands in but this tower right here that's coming for you all yeah there's some type of truth that is out. That someone was trying to steal something or someone stole something. And they've been trying to keep it a secret. It's out now. This is a thief. You stole something. This King of Cups, whoever this is, King Queen of Wands that I'm picking, you stole something. Yeah, you stole it. You stole something. Did you want to steal a relationship? Or you stole something and you're heartbroken that two people are still coming together after you tried to stop block keep someone from being seen like you've been trying to hide a genuine energy girl and there's something up of communication someone has been blocking communications someone has been blocking communications like i see someone logging into like an email or something to delete messages email accounts that do not belong to them deleting messages so if you go to check your email, you'll never see it because they're deleting, deleting, deleting the email from the inbox and the trash. So you'll never know those emails were there. Okay? You'll never know. This is a different level of spitefulness, maliciousness, wickedness, insecurities. And there's a woman that don't like to hear that she's insecure. Baby, you're insecure. Insecure people do things like this. And there's a man that don't want to hear that he's insecure or oh, he's unsure of himself, uh, likes confidence. You are all the above and then some. Because people that are not those things don't even, maybe they don't even have time or the energy to put into these kind of activities. It's a waste of time. They already, it's low vibrational. You're setting yourself back. 
Okay? Setting yourself back. Mm. Yeah. They know who the... Who, yeah, whatever you've been trying to steal, they know who it belongs to. If you've been out here slandering someone's character, they know someone is solid as a rock. Someone of high honor, very upstanding, committed, loyal, very determined to make it, and they're going to keep standing their ground. Something's backfiring on you, or you got problems coming in. And I don't mean just like karma as in like you losing this and you losing that. You all have some type of court issue coming in, court case coming in that's going to lead to a lot. I'm telling you, I split the deck and it went to the chariot. There's some type of court case that's coming up, either to an emperor reverse or something the whole community there's going to be some type of court case you all are going to have to pay out some type of money i, I saw something about i don't know like 144,000 or something like that but you you all got some burdens that you've voluntarily taken on i don't know why you would want to voluntarily take uh burdens on and that's because of the people you partner up with Especially people in the community with their Queen of Wands reverse has been out here trying to block people, steal from people. Girl, why Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you do that to yourself? You got to be practical about situations. The King of Pentacles finding the strength to move on with his life from a community. Sir, be careful because these people you are around, they're a bunch of nutcases. Uh, they may be trying to find a way to keep you binded in some type of situation. A uh, thread with caution. If you're trying to balance something out, move in silence. Okay? Move in silence. Very, be very discreet with it. Use discretion. Uh, there are people around you that are just playing a role. I don't know if someone was groomed to present herself to you like a queen of cups reverse. Someone was groomed. To act like they like you. Like they want to be with you. It was a contract is what I'm hearing. Like it was a contract that she was in. When she was trying. I don't know if you two ended up dating or something. But it was a, it was a contract. She was supposed to get some type of money from it. They saw you as someone very abundant. And they told her how to carry herself. So that she could get some type of uh, situation with you. Um, maybe things didn't go the way she thought it would. Maybe she didn't get the money out of it that she thought she would. Because you could be someone very practical, someone very, uh, you use a lot of common sense. But there was a woman in your energy, a queen of cups reverse, that's been put there to act a certain way. Act like she's genuine. Act like she's authentic. Act like she's creative. Act like she's responsible. But the whole time, this is this woman. Okay? Someone's very manipulative. Someone misuses uh tarot i don't know i don't think this woman is gifted what she does is misuses divination that she does a lot of divination spying uh so she watches a lot of readers this may even be someone that pays for divination may leave work or something in the middle of the day to go and get a reading something like that someone is bad as hit crazy was hired to be your partner okay I hope you didn't marry this person. I hope you didn't give them a contract. Um, good luck with that one. And I don't know. I don't even want to touch on this uh, high priestess that's out here causing a lot of manipulations, using some type of old form of magic, dark magic, and things like that. There, I don't know why you. I don't know if you're a man or woman, sir. I don't know why you are even doing all of that. You're out here trying. There's a whole family out here paying to have someone trapped in a court case, and it's gonna backfire. Throw with caution, sir. They're trying to have someone trapped in some type of court case, some type of mental state that is just unhealthy, unstable. They want you trapped in your mind. It could be for you, sir, or uh, someone of high honor that maybe you want to balance something out for. I don't know, um, but. There's a whole family um, that's working together, paying someone behind the scenes. They're paying for magic. They're even paying someone to go in and do this person something. I don't know why these people are this crafty or uh, this invested to do this. It's really sad and pathetic, really, if you think about it. But they're, they're paying someone to cause someone a lot of stagnations. 
They said, we don't want this person growing. This is the truth being illuminated to you. We don't want this person, person growing. We don't want this person thriving in life. We don't want him to see her. We don't want him to know she's alive. We don't want him to know that she's actually creative. We don't want him to know that she's actually uh, knowledgeable. We want him to think that she's uh, mentally unstable. She's crazy. She's unstable. She's dead. She's dead. It's all a waste of time, a waste of energy. Something is over, but these people are refusing to let go. Um, and it's going to be backfiring horribly. It's at the yeah, I said backfire, open the deck, and it's split on the tower. It's going to get to a point where it's like, mm, why did we do this again? Why did we do this again? They don't even know. They were trying to hold on to a ten of pentacles. That's not theirs. I don't know if these people have access to your money. Um, you may want to. You may want to <laughs> relinquish those access. There could be someone's wife in a situation. I don't even know if I want to say this, but maybe she's relinquishing her attachment to these toxic people. But I'm going to leave it at that with her because I don't know exactly if this woman wants this out. I'm going to leave that part out. But there's a woman out here, a wife figure that's trying to balance something out. She may be heartbroken about a situation. Maybe she's going to be speaking the truth to you about a situation. And that's because she participated in trying to steal something that belongs to someone. May have even They, they may have even tried to steal from you. Uh, if you're a king of source as well, be careful because there's some type of plot as well to try to sneak you, do, do you something because you're making some type of decision to move on forward and balance something out. So thread with caution. I don't know if you're a police officer, some type of PI, or you're just a king of source in your authoritative action. I mean, uh, energy, you could be in the court system. Uh, but be very careful because these people, uh, like I'm telling that King of Pentacles, you all be careful because these people have lost their senses. They've lost their minds. They've lost everything. Okay? They're very much afraid. This whole group, they are afraid. They are afraid. Okay? Of a Queen of Swords receiving some type of contract. And I don't know what this contract has to do with. It could be in love, business, or whatever. But you all be very cautious. I don't know what part you all play in this scenario, whether you were a part of it before and you're no longer a part of it. But just know that these people, they don't they don't have a limit. On, they're collaborating. They're meeting up. They don't have a limit on what it is they'll do to make sure they get what it is that they want. They want to burden someone out here. They're still very determined. Very dedicated to causing these illusions. They're paying for more illusions. They're paying to invade someone's privacy. They're, maybe these people are paying for everything you can think of under this sun to be done to someone. Invasion of privacy, magic, death spells, hiring a hitman, all kinds of stuff. Uh, illegal surveillance is what they're paying for as well. So they're, in, they're possibly monitoring someone. In, uh, they're hacking computers. Hacking phones, all kinds of stuff, trying to shut people up. And all they really did was get themselves caught up in something that's about to go down. Headed right to poverty. Headed right to poverty. Look at this. I'm so pr I don't know what this King of Wands is. I've been picking up on that it's out here doing the work to heal and balance himself out. Sir, we're so proud of you in the light working community. We're sending you a lot of positive energy. Good vibes, good vibes. Okay, look at you out here being a star C and the universe is supporting you. Okay. Dang. These people are a piece of work. Golly. You want to tell me a whole family, a whole institution, no one had one lick of sense to say we shouldn't do this? We shouldn't do this? Hmm? This is not going to work. Even after the first time you all tried to have something go in your favor and didn't work, you still went and tried the hundredth time. That's a that's a special kind of uh excuse my French, but stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A true high priestess, if this woman that or man that you all are working with would have sat back in a lot of situation and said, mm-mm, let's not do this. Maybe she did, or maybe she didn't. With this eight of swords showing up here, this is someone that's a liar. This is someone that plays mental games. This is someone that misuses their abilities if they have it. Um, 
this is someone that's in some form of old magic that's just not relevant anymore. And she's feeling or he's feeling to realize why it's not working because it's outdated, sir. You're you're like I think of yourself like being in like the, the Salem witch uh era. You're doing that kind of magic. But we're in twenty twenty four. I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh at you, but you 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 can't be serious. But someone is very manipulative. She may have even been lying to you all for money. I see a lot of pentacles around this woman, so there's something where it's like she only she only talks when money is involved. Meaning she don't know what she's doing. She don't care about who it is she's working with. Um, all she cares about is the money. True high priestesses, the money is not the the goal when you come to talk to them. Even if they say, I do this for 30 minutes, if they got information to tell you after that 30 minutes is up, they'll keep talking to you. But not this woman. This woman said, you got my money. You don't got no money. I can't be talking to you. She, she said, Jay-Z, you, if you ain't talking money, you can't be talking to me. Yeah. Sad. Very sad. This is someone that does a lot of projection as well. So all of her negative attributes characteristics she projects onto other high priestesses if whoever this man wants to be with is a high priestess and god forbid he went to her for some type of reading everything that is about her or her look because there are let me see let me see how i can say this someone that resides in this energy this dark energy here okay they're not the universe is not giving them a lot of information because they don't reside in the energy that they need to in the first place to get the kind of information that you need from them. You got to be clean hearted, <laughs> clear mind. This is someone holding on to a lot of grudges, a lot of anger, a lot of hate. Someone don't care about love. Someone is all about money. Love bothers her. So the kind of information you need from this kind of person, you're not going to get because the universe is not giving it to them. So when they put the cars out, uh -huh. it's about them. It's about them. So if something's coming up that a feminine energy or masculine energy is karmic, you should not be interacting with them. It's them that they're talking to you about. But they'll do it in a way where they'll make it seem like they're, they're talking about the person you're asking them about. A lot of projections. This person, access to the spirit realm is limited. <laughs> it's very limited. Even that her ancestors or his ancestors don't fool with them that way. It's it. Uh-uh. You ain't doing nothing different. We ain't done in our lifetimes. We we incarnated and we did the same karmic stuff you're doing. We were wanting you to do something different. Look at you. Out here all trapped, bounded, lying, insecure, just like we were. You ain't free us. We ain't talking to you. Excuse me. Yeah. This woman is all about money. Got a queen of pentacles right here with her. Page of pentacles. It is all about money. It's all about money. And she's pissed off that she, I don't know if she was trying to steal someone else's intuition. I don't know how that works. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Uh, I mind my business. You all know I learned my ABCs and one, two, threes over here. I mind my business. So how they take people's intuition, baby, I can't tell you. I don't even want to know. Okay, how they're trying to staff in people's uh, put a stop to people's heart. I don't, I don't know, and I don't want to know either. Okay, okay. Um, I hear something about voodoo doll. That's out of my. That's not on my frequency. <laughs> my frequency will you do all of that? <laughs> we don't need no trinkets. <laughs> we don't need no uh, uh uh souvenirs or any of that. We just say the word, and it is. So how she does her work, I don't know. I don't care. I don't want to be part of it. That's too dark for me, okay? Too dark. <laughs> oh, Lord. Dang. What I'm, like, the energy I'm getting is just that people are, like, they feel trapped. They feel constricted, confined to a situation that could have been prevented. It's like these people are celebrating some type of illusion they've been causing. And I don't think, I don't know if they know, I don't know if they believe that they got away with the illusion. These are people that are quick to celebrate. Uh, so there may be 
you, <laughs> these are people who are like, it's like momentary for them. If they do one thing and they have success with it for now, they never, oh my gosh, we did it, we did it. And then just like three seconds later, they say, oh no, it didn't work. They're still moving on. They're still standing their ground. They say, oh my gosh, you told us this was going to work. She don't know what she's doing. <laughs> He don't know what he's doing. Sorry. <laughs> okay. There's <laughs> someone. Uh -uh. I can't. I gotta get out of this energy. I will see you all in my next read. Thank you for watching as always. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.